Yep. Hello, good afternoon, my friends. Welcome to another session of FB Live with you guys. I'm super excited. Miss Shannon and Miss Kendra are here with you. Also, we want to remind you, if you're up wanting to do the remote learning, go ahead and join us. Go to our webpage, sign up. We'd love to see you. All right, let's get started with our calendar today. All right, we started a new week. So what would today be? Let's find out. Would it be Sunday? No. I think it's Monday. Let's look. Monday. All right, so if today is Monday, yesterday was Sunday. So yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday, tomorrow will be t -t -t Tuesday. All right, my friends, how many days in a week do we have? Let's see, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven days in a week. So five and two make seven. Let's go ahead and sing our song, ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. My friends, why did I clap on Monday? Hmm, because today is Monday. All right, something happened last week. Did we start a new month? We sure did. We started the month of May. So, how many months do we have in one year? Should we count again? Let's count, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve months in one year, my friend. Ready? Let's sing our song. There are twelve months. There are twelve months. There are twelve months in a year. There are twelve months. There are twelve months. There are twelve months in a year. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. Fill them with joy and with cheer. The months of the year. Okay, my friends, we know today is Monday. We know we're in the month of May. What is the date? It looks like it's the 4th. So today is Monday, May 4th. And what's the year? 2020. All right, my friends at home, I want you to say it with me. Okay, let's repeat. Today is Monday, May 4th, 2020. All right, my friends, have you been able to look out your windows today and look at the weather? What has it been like? Well, when I came in today, it was a sunny day. So we're gonna put our happy face on a sunny day. Hmm. And how many seasons do we have in one year? Four. What are they? Winter, spring, summer, and fall. And we're still in the season of spring, my friends. Okay. Now, why don't we walk over 
and we'll talk about language. Follow me, my friends. Oh, look what we have today. Hmm. All right. Okay, ready? What do we have to do first? We have to write our name. So I'm going to turn my paper around so I can write real quick. And we write Miss Shannon. All right, so let's read this. Are you ready? Denny does the dishes. Dory does them too. Dad feeds the dog and soon they are through. Let's read our directions. Dishes begin with the sound of D, 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 D. Circle each picture whose name begins with the sound of D, D, D. All right, my friends. Hmm, let's start with number one. This is a dog. D dog. So does that start with D? It sure does. So let's circle it. Okay. Now number two. What about duck? D -d duck. That starts with the letter D too, doesn't it? So we're going to circle that. Well, let's do number three. What about Mm -mm. No, we can't circle that because that does not start with D. Number four, what about door? D, D, door. It does start with D, so let's circle. All right, my friends, let's do a couple more. What about top? T, T, top. No, that does not start with D. Number six, what about deer, d, d, deer? It sure does. Let's go ahead and circle it. All right, my friends, you know what I'd like you to do? I'd like you to finish this page on your own, and then I want you to take a picture if you can and, and send it to us so we can see how you're doing. All right, let's flip our page. Let's turn it over. Oh, we're gonna write. All right, can we read the directions? Let's read, okay. Say the name of each picture. If it begins with the sound of D, 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 print D on the line. Then trace the whole word. Okay, my friends, are you ready? Let's do number one. What does that look like? A doll. D doll. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, my friends. Doll. Okay. What about number two? A foot. That does not start with D, my friends. Okay, what about a door? Door, d, d, door. Now, do we know how to write the letter D? Let's try it. So, we start from top to bottom. And we go around from the dotted line to the bottom line. Door, let's finish tracing. All right. Now my friends, what about number four? 
lid lid mm -mm. no that does not start with d my friends number five key does key start with d no it does not mm -mm. what about number six duck duck it sure does start with d so let's write d let's trace the rest of the word okay my friends now i would like you to do the rest of this page and again if you can take a picture and send it to us we'd love to see how you're doing okay now my friends guess what i forgot i forgot to get a cover to cover my answers so i'm going to use one of my worksheets here okay so there we go i covered my answers right all right so let's read the sentences okay that cat can fit in a Hmm, what is the cat in? Is he in a tin or a can? K -n can. Can. All right. C A N. All right. This ant fits in a can. So, what's in here? An ant. Ant. Okay. Hmm. What's next? Am I an ant? Is he an ant? No, I don't think so. He's not an ant. So we're going to circle no. All right. I am a what fat fat man. Is he a fat man or a fit man? I think ah. So we're gonna write fat. Okay. Can I fit in this can? Do you think he'll be able to fit in the can? No. No, he won't be able to. All right, my friends. Now, I want you guys to do the last one on your own. Okay? So now we're going to turn the page. Don't forget to cover your answers. Okay. Ready? This is a pin or pan. What is this picture of? It's a picture of a pin. P pin. Okay. Is this a pin? What is this? Is this a pin or a pan? It is a Pan. So, no, this is not a pen. This is a pan. 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 So, we'll write the letter A. One more, my friends. This pen is in a pan? Mm -mm. No, it doesn't look like it. This pin is on a pan. Do you think the pin is on the pan? I think it's on the pan. All right, my friends. I want you to do the last one on your own. Okay. Let's move on to our next page. 
All right. My dear friend, Miss Kendra, got me my marker so I can make sure we don't see the answers. Oh, this has a lot of questions on it. Huh. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. Nip is napping. Nip is panting. What is Nip doing? Nip is napping. So Nip is napping. He's napping. Yeah, I'm ready for a nap too, my friends, soon though. All right, on to our next question. Nip is on his mat. Nip is on his map. What is he on? Is he on his mat or map? I think he's on his mat. His mat is tin. His mat is tan. What color is his mat? It is tan. All right. Anne has a hat. Anne has a mat. What does she have in her hands? She has a hat. Is that in a circle? Hat. Okay. Anne's hat. You think because that's what she has in her hand, right? So it should be hat. Is tan. Hat. Sam is sitting on a cat. Hmm. Sam is sitting on a can. What is Sam sitting on? That's right. He is sitting on a can. Sam is sitting on a can. to our next ones. You ready, my friends? What is in this? We have a can and we have a cat. So let's read our sentences. I am a what? Cat. Cat. I am in a can. I am in a fan. What is the cat in? Oh, he's in a can. I am in a can. can. I can fit in this. What can the cat fit in? Can. Okay. You go ahead and do the last one on your own. Let's turn the page over. All right, my friends. This is Nip. Nip's a dog, right? This is Sam. So who is this? This is Sam. Sam can sing. How do we spell Sam? With an A. S-A-M. Sam. This is a map, or this is a man. This is a man, right? This man can sing. Okay, my friends. I'd like you to do the last two on your own. All right? We'd love to see what you're doing. Okay. Now, what your book required. So I'd like you to look around your house and find one of your favorite books. Don't forget to write your name, put in today's date, your name of the book, who wrote the book, and what your favorite word is and then draw something of your favorite drawing from the book, okay? And now,
we have our writing, our handwriting worksheet for today. The letter P, my friends. Okay, so we're gonna start and we're gonna go around, down, and back up. All right, so we start on the dot. We go around, back up. Okay, one more time. Back up. All right, and don't forget to write your name. Okay, all right, my friends. Now, let's go over and see Miss Kendra, and she's gonna do some stretching with you and some breathing exercises. Hi, everybody. It's so nice to see you again. You remember me, Miss Kendra? So before we do some nice big breaths, I heard that it is someone special's birthday. I know this is our four and a half to six year old age group, but Nia is turning three and I think she's watching, okay? Hi, Nia. Happy birthday. I miss you so much, Nia. I hope you have so much fun today, okay? And I'm so happy you're here to watch us all together okay let's take some big breaths do a little wiggle and sit back down do some work okay let's take three big breaths okay one okay and wiggle it out okay i know you're just sitting doing some language Okay, let's sit down, do some math together. Now, I know you guys remember what we did last week. We did some subtraction. What is subtraction? It's when you take away, right? So let's see here. I'm gonna do, let's make up our own problem. Let's see here, so many colors. For counters today, I have some cut out paper hearts. I thought, mm, Pretzels are, are no more. We need to find a new fun one. Cute hearts. Okay, let's have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's have nine. We see we have nine. Let's do subtraction. We're going to take away how many should we do? What? Nia turn three? We're gonna take away three. Okie dokie, minus three. One, two, three. Nine minus three equals, how many is left here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we had nine minus three equals Six, awesome. Let's try one that was from your Friday worksheet. Do you remember this? I think yours looks different because yours is all done already, right? You had a good time this weekend and then you did some of your math, you're subtracting. Let's look at this one here. What is this? 12 minus six. We gotta figure out what that is. Let's get our counters again. And we're gonna do 12 minus six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, and we can bring out our markers here minus six some more beautiful paper hearts one two three four 
five, six, okay? Let's see, come back over here to our original number. We have what, 12 minus six. So let's look over here, okay? Minus six, one, two, three, four, five, six. From our 12, we took away six. How many do we have left here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have 12 minus six, take away six, equals what? Six, another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's awesome. We know that 12 minus six equals six. What do you think um, if we do six plus six? Let's see here. Let's try a different problem. Sometimes when you have counters, my friends, if you wanna do your own problems, that's good. You can do your ones from the worksheet and make your own too, that sounds really fun. Let's see what six plus six is, cause we just found out 12 minus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have our plus, plus, another six. One, two, three, four, five, six equals one. Let's count together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six plus six equals what? Twelve. That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on over, paper hearts. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Beautiful. Six plus six equals twelve. And twelve minus six equals six. How about that? That's why math is really cool, you guys. It's reliable. <laughs> Okay, so we have our math worksheets from Friday done. Let's see what we have for today. Today, I think you guys remember this. I remember one of our first remote learning videos we did together, and we talked about ordinals, right? Ordinals are very important. Ordinals is how sometimes we put things in the right order, right? Some things go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth, right? So some things we have to do in the right order or else it's not gonna work. Like remember, we are washing our hands really, really good right now, but if we do paper towel drying first and then get soap second, that's no good. We have to do water first, right? Soap second. Water rinse, shake, shake, get your towel. Don't forget 20 seconds. Okay, so our first worksheet has ordinals. Let's look at our directions. Always looking at the directions. After we write our name, mine is Miss Kendra. And today is, oh, today is May 4th. 2020. Okay, color the fifth. We have to color the fifth one and circle the tenth. So we can see here what they did on the first one. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. They colored the fifth. They colored the fifth and they circle the 10th. That's 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, circle the 10th, 10th. Awesome, let's see what cute things we have here to 
count. Let's look at our next one. This looks like a deer. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Do we circle that fifth? No. No, we don't circle that fifth one. We color the fifth one. Get your color. Any color you like. Any color you like. And then let's see. So that's the fifth one. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. What do we do to the tenth? Color it? Nope. I know you guys know we're circling the tenth. Again, you got it. And let's do one more on this side. Let's do our fish. Let's see here. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. What are we doing? Color in our fifth. That's this one here. Cute little green fish you are. Okay, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. Are we gonna circle this last one like these? No, we have to make sure it's the tenth. Let's double check. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Tenth is this one, we gotta circle this one. Okay, pay very close attention. Make sure we're doing all the counting so we don't miss one, okay? Let's look at the other side of this page. And now, now we're gonna need to use our eyes so we can read our numbers, okay? Circle the picture to match the number. Okay, this here, what number is that? Seven, right? And we know that seventh is the seventh ordinal because first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, seventh. So they're gonna circle this seventh truck, trailer. One, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Circle this seventh. Beautiful, what's the next one? Some cars. What number is that? What ordinal is that? That is sixth, sixth. We need to circle the sixth picture. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Circle the sixth. Okay, make sure you look at your numbers here, okay? Ninth, the ninth fish. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Awesome, we found it. Okay, you guys finish this up at home, okay? Let's see what else we have today for our worksheets. Do you guys recognize these? I think you might recognize these because we have done some numbers before, some tracing and some writing, right? These, trace and write. We have our numbers here, right? This is gonna be zero to 50. So we're gonna start with zero, don't trace. What's after zero, guys? I know you know this, one, right? Trace two, next one. Write your three, trace four. If there's a number, trace it. If not, keep your counting going, okay? Oops, I forgot my name. What was I thinking? Miss Kendra. All right, don't rush. Don't rush, Miss Kendra. Don't forget your name and your date. It says when we did it, okay? Finish all your numbers. I wanna see a picture of this. And I wanna see a picture of your Earth Day numbers too. I'm so excited. And on the next page, we see the rest of the numbers to 100, 51 to 100. Okay, first side, zero to 50. Next side. 51 to 100, and the same. Trace and trace. When the number is not there, what is it? 51, 52, 53, okay? 
Let's finish all of those. And now, since we're all finished with our math, we're going to do a song. Miss Shannon is going to join us back over here for a song. Welcome back, Miss Shannon. You guys might know this song. It sounds familiar, but it's a little bit different. Just a little bit. Now, we all know the version of Old MacDonald, right? Well, pretty soon, Miss Kendra's going to talk to you about landforms. And she's going to talk to you about lakes. So, Old MacDonald had a lake. So we're gonna find out what was in his lake. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Old MacDonald had a lake, E-I-E-I-O. And on his lake, he had a duck. Uh-oh, what sound does the duck make? E-I-E-I-O. With, With a, a quack, quack, quack here and a quack, quack there. Here, quack, there, quack, everywhere, a quack, quack. Old MacDonald had a lake. E-I-E-I-O, and on this lake he had a fish. Fish! E-I-E-I-O, with a bloop bloop here and a bloop bloop there. Here a bloop, there a bloop, everywhere a bloop bloop. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, and on the lake. Oh, my. Uh-oh. He had a lake. It's a lake. It's a lake. And on the lake? He had a frog. E I E I O with a ribbit ribbit here and a ribbit ribbit there. Here a ribbit, there a ribbit, everywhere a ribbit ribbit. Old MacDonald had a lake. E I E I O. Okay, my friends. Ooh. See, even we mess up at times too, but it's okay because we're learning about lakes. About lakes. So, why don't we all follow Miss Kendra and she's gonna tell you all about the lakes. Some lakes, some lakes. Okay, so first, I wanna know, do you guys, do you guys go to the lake sometimes? Do you guys know lakes? In Fremont, we have a couple lakes that we go, maybe we go play, maybe we go walk, maybe you ride your bike, maybe when we're outside, when it's safe to go outside, you go to the playground, but we always wait until it's safe, right? And in Fremont, we have two big lakes that I know, right? I think a lot of you may know Lake Elizabeth. Have you been to Lake Elizabeth? You have? Me too. I love Lake Elizabeth. I walk around the lake in the path and I ride my bike and I wave to people. I see some geese, some ducks, maybe a frog, some little fish, right? So this is our, our city of Fremont, right? And here, where are we? We are over here. We're going to be over here, over here. And when we drive our cars, we can go see Lake Elizabeth, where they have that aqua park. Maybe you guys have been there. Or we can drive a little farther north and we can see Quarry Lakes here, right? Because we live in the Bay Area. This is the bay, right? This is not a lake. This is water, but that's the bay. These are our lakes in Fremont. Lake Elizabeth and Quarry Lakes. Pretty cool, right? But what is a lake, you guys? Because a lake is not the ocean, right? Is the ocean a lake? No, the ocean is an ocean, right? And a lake has something different. An ocean has water and land on one side, right? A lake has water and land on all the sides, right? So here's our water and here's our land. So the lake is inside and the land is all around. It's different than an island, right? An island has the land with water all around. A lake is a body of water surrounded by land. Body of water surrounded by land. So let's see if we can make our own lake, okay? I brought some materials from class. 
to see if we can make our own lake. Because we have now some land here, okay? This is our land. And what's going to go in here if it's a lake? Water, right? Usually fresh water. So let's see if I can pour some water in our lake. Okay. There we go. A little messy, that's okay. So here we have a lake, right? If this land is all gone, then it's not a lake anymore. We just have one side that's an ocean. It's all the way around, the body of water with land all the way around. Now, did you guys bring your Play-Doh? Did you guys bring your water and a tray? You did? Okay, let's break out our Play-Doh and let's get a little bit messy. Contained, but a little bit messy, okay? I'm gonna move my lake over here and let's see here. So we need a body of water surrounded by land. I picked, well, I picked blue land, but usually the land is green and the water is blue. Today I found blue Play-Doh, so we need to make a body of land first so that we can make a little hole for our lake. Okay, let's make a, a good size one, not a small one. Let's have fun. Let's make a big one. Okie dokie. Squeezing a little bit. This Play-Doh smells a lot like Play-Doh, you guys. It's a little salty smelling. Okay, we have land. We have land. And we need to make our lake. Did you guys make your own Play-Doh? Salty, right? And, okay, let's use a little bit more Play-Doh because it's going to be a beautiful lake. Uh -oh. Sometimes our Play-Doh's a little dry, maybe just needs a little water, needs to go to the lake. Okay, let's see if we did it. It doesn't have to be just right, okay? A little messy, that's okay. And we're having fun. Let's make our lake. I remember our lake is a body of water surrounded by land. We have land surrounding, let's see, the body of water. We made a lake, you guys. What lake is this? This is Learn and Play Montessori Lake. It's leaking a little bit. But that's okay. Wow, you guys, we made a lake today. That is so cool. So I'm gonna shake my gloves off and I'm just gonna show us and point to our worksheet about lakes. And I use this tray mm -hmm. so that we don't get too messy. Okay, let's see how we do it. So when we look at our worksheet for lake today, we're gonna to put our name up top. My name is Miss Kendra. And today is May 4th, 2000, what, 20. Okay, so let's see here. This is our lake and this is our land. If the land is brown or green, and the lake water is blue, how are we gonna color this one? Well, let's first do some writing. Let's start at the top. What does this say here? Lake. Silent E. Lake. We're gonna start at the top. Trace your lake. Start at the top, down, around, and down. Start at the top, and start at the top, down, E around, down. Okay, and try it all by yourself over here. All by yourself. You can do it, and I'm so proud. And don't forget to show us, we really wanna see, okay? Let's see here, our green earth. 
Let's get this all green. Have you guys been coloring other things? If you color other pictures, I want to see those too. Will you send us will you send us some pictures? I miss you guys, so I really want to see what you're doing. Okay, let's see what color water. It's a clean, fresh lake. We're going to have some nice, pretty blue water. Okay, you guys, almost done. I'm really excited to see yours. This one is Miss Kendra's. A lake, a body of water surrounded by land. All right, thank you guys for joining us today. It's been a beautiful weekend and I think we're gonna have another beautiful week, our first full week of remote learning. I'm so excited, so please come join us tomorrow. If you're not signed up, if you don't have all the worksheets, be sure to sign up for our remote learning program. You can follow us on YouTube and on Facebook and tomorrow we'll be doing some more things with water and land, okay? So we'll see you tomorrow, you guys. Bye-bye.